Modeling a bearing in FreeCAD using the part and draft workbenches. First, we will create a cylinder and give it a radius of 11 millimeters and a height of 5 millimeters. Now create a second cylinder and give it a radius of 9 millimeters and open the placement dialog. Using the placement dialog, move the second cylinder down minus one millimeter to the z-axis. This is to avoid coplanar faces in the next operation. Selecting first cylinder, then cylinder 001 using the control key, click on the cut icon. The result is a ring that will become the outer hub of the bearing. Now create another cylinder that will be the inner hub. Give it a height of 5 mm and a radius of 6 mm. Add a fourth cylinder and give it a radius of 3 mm which will be the radius of the bearing center hole. Open the placement dialog for cylinder 003 and move it minus 1 mm down on the z-axis. Select cylinder 002 and then cylinder 003 using the control key and once again click the cut icon to make the boolean difference between the two shapes. Move to the draft workbench for the next steps and once there set the working plane to front. Click the set working plane icon and select XZ as the working plane. Next we will draw a line that will aid us in the placement of a circle and later the sphere that will make the bearing balls. First select the line tool from the toolbar. Make sure that all your snap tools are turned off except for midpoint. Now orbit the view until you can see the inner edge of the outer hub and snap one end of the line to it. Then orbit the view to see the outer edge of the inner hub and snap the other end of the line to it. Make a circle somewhere accessible. Once made, set its radius to 2.25 millimeters. Make sure that the circle is selected by clicking on it, and then click on the Move tool. Turn on the center snap and continue to have the midpoint snap enabled. Select the circle center point and click the mouse to grab the circle, and then move it to snap to the midpoint of the helper line. Now the circle is properly positioned for the next operation. Switching back to the part workbench, select the Just Place Circle and activate the Revolve tool. First click Create Solid and since our inner and outer hubs were created on the Z axis, that will be the axis we revolve the circle shape around. Now we will want to take Cut and Cut 001 selecting both using the control key, and fuse them together by clicking the fuse icon. Once the two hubs are fused, we will select the new fusion and then the revolve using the control keys and make a cut. This will give us the grooves for the bearing balls to ride in. The next step will be to create a sphere and give it a radius of 2.2 millimeters, which is 0 0.05 millimeters less than the radius of the groove.
Moving back to the draft workbench, we will select the sphere and using the move tool with center and midpoint snaps enabled, pick the sphere's center and then pick the line midpoint. Now our sphere is placed directly between the inner and outer hub grooves. Ensuring that the sphere is selected, we will now click on the Array tool. Select Polar from the Array type and give Number Polar a value of 10. Now we have our 10 bearing balls placed around the hub. A quick look with transparency turned on will show how everything is placed. At this point you can either compound or fuse everything together, or as I have done here, Add some color and texture to the parts for display. I hope you have found this tutorial useful and informative. Thanks for watching.